Hey guys, welcome to your uh, energy check-in for Cancer. This is going to be for the uh, first half of your January from the 1st to 15th. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything can come up. We're just going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of the month. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your replacements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, uh, for the collective uh, cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on uh, TikTok, Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on my new YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to travel, the link for that is also in the description box below. Uh, Support me on there to do all the YouTube stuff. All right, so energy check in for Cancer. Over energies for Cancer. What is surrounding Cancer? What does Cancer need to know for the first half of their January from the 1st to the um, 15th for Cancer? For Cancer here. For Cancer. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords here and the Nine of Swords. Um, you know, I feel like some of you guys could be getting a medical diagnosis that you guys have been waiting on for quite a long time. Could be a situation where you didn't understand what was going on here with you. And I feel like you're finally getting an answer that you're looking for that's going to help you sort of like manage yourself a lot better here. I do feel like it might be you know, severe stress, anxiety, maybe depression here too. So I feel like this is something, something that you're finding out. Uh, cancer, if this is not you, this could be someone in or around your life. Okay, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The Nine of Swords here, um, King of Wands and the Five of Cups. There could be someone here that's, you know, regretting something that they did to you. You know, something something that they did that they want to apologize for. Maybe this person stressed you out. Maybe this person's reaching out with an apology here or something like that. You know, it could also be a situation with the Five of Cups here. Someone here is kind of like in this energy of, you know, living their life in, their, in regret where they feel like they should be at a certain place in their life right now, but they're not. You know, with a Two of Swords here in the three of wands so i feel like one of the things i'm getting here is i feel like you're hitting a crossroads in your life it's like a decision that you have to make do you continue want to stay where you're at or do you want to make a decision to move forward here okay so let's see tell me about the three of wands here why is the three of wands here why is the three of wands here the star card aquarius energy tell me the uh, two of swords two of swords and the eight of swords here i do feel like there's an ending that's happening here I do feel like there's a huge shift in your energies. I do feel like, you know, uh, perhaps you're starting to see clearly your life's purpose here. Because I feel like maybe you've been searching this for all your life and they feel like you could be finally finding it here. Okay? Tell me about the Five of Cups here. Tell me about the Five of Cups here. Five of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So any sort of regret, any... Any regret about what I just mentioned, I feel like you're releasing it, you're letting it go, and then you feel like you're moving forward here. Yeah, I just feel like someone here is not really happy with their life. And I feel like there's an energy of someone here wanting to see the brighter side of things here. You know what I mean? So I feel like there's a sense of releasing that regret and, and realizing that, you know what, I'm here for a reason here. And this is an opportunity for me to kind of change my trajectory here okay the nine of swords here and the magician here gemini virgo i feel like you are in control in power of your life here and i feel like you're taking control of the steering wheel here okay but you know i do feel like perhaps you know what the message that you're getting here from a doctor i do feel like it will um now that you know what it is i feel like you'll gain and gather the tools that you need to help you to manage this and they feel like things will start to get better here for you or for somebody okay what else do we have for, for cancer what else does cancer need to know look out for work on here for the first half of their january for cancer for cancer for cancer 
for cancer, for cancer. <clears throat> we have the world and temperance, Sagittarius energy. Okay, the world and temperance, okay. We have the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Let's see what this. In the Eight of Cups here and the Emperor. So this, there's a sense of you leveling up. Raise your consciousness and your vibration here. Yeah, I feel like you've sort of like waited all your life to find your life's purpose and they feel like this is here. I feel like you waited all your life for this moment because I feel like a lot of you guys might have felt very lost. Yeah, very lost, very confused. Didn't really understand yourself here. So I feel like the message that you're getting from a doctor will really help you at this point here. It's time with the world. And I feel like the healing could begin here too. Okay, so the world and the five of pentacles. Yeah, so any sort of insecurities, any sort of setbacks that you feel like you've been through here, I feel like you're healing from that and you feel like you're releasing that. Yeah, I feel like you're releasing it here. So I feel like it's almost like a breath of uh, like a sigh of relief here. Like, oh my God, I got the answers that I was looking for. I've been so confused about this. I've been so lost about this. Now I know what to do, okay? The King of Pentacles here and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Tell me the Knight of Wands here. Tell me the Knight of Wands here. Somebody here also has behavioral issues here too. Could be on the spectrum of neurodivergent here. And they feel like, you know, moving forward, I do feel like you will be working together with someone here to help manage your... Um, problems here, okay? Uh, the Hierophant and the Death card here. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, the Death card here, Scorpio energy. Yeah, I feel like, may, I, I do feel like because of what you've been through here, I feel like you have a hard time discerning things here too. So I feel like that's about to change here. Some of you guys could be going through a huge spiritual awakening. Yeah, some of you guys are about to go through a huge spiritual awakening or that you guys are or will. The Eight of Cups here, because you could uh, also apply this to your own uh, timelines here too. The Eight of Cups and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The Emperor here and the Wheel of Fortune. There could also be someone that's coming back into your life that's trying to get something off their chest here. Okay, maybe you could have, maybe there is a conversation that needs to be had if there needs to be some sort of ex explaining here. Maybe it's this person, you know, that's receiving the message and, you know, they're trying to explain to you that, oh, the reason why I was behaving like this is, be is because of this. Um, but yeah, but it, just in a general overall perspective of this read here, it seems like you, you've waited all your life to figure out what your life's purpose is and you feel like you might be finding it. I mean, that star card is a, a representation of someone here who gives back to others, who's a service to others. You know, this is a light worker card here too. So Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.